Okay, welcome back, folks. Um, as soon as I load this, it's going to take me right to the aftermath for the second dungeon. So, um, I haven't seen anything past where we stopped last time. Um, so, we'll get right into it. I pressed the uh, skip button instead of the talk button. Um, so he said, uh, he's like, all right, we got it. Uh, and she says, um, uh, she says, uh, everyone smiles at the end. We're amazing or something like that. Welcome back, everyone. Um, Anne says, We're back. Were you watching the movie closely? Yes, I was. Um, what do you think? What did you think of this? of this movie this time. I don't know if I'm imagining things. I think I might be imagining things. I fiddled around with the video settings a little bit. It seems like the text is a little bit clearer, but maybe not. Um, she says, um... She says, like, Take your time and and use your own words, I guess, to to say what's in your heart. She says, "I thought the movie was super lovely. It was very lovely." Really? Yes, really. Thank goodness. Um, hey, Kari, what was your favorite part? What did you think was great about it? Um, I think she, yeah, she says, I think the part where the one dinosaur took on the meat eater all by himself. Um, summoning his courage to uh, summoning his courage to take on opposition um, without anyone else's help. <laughs> she says, "You mean Yosuke Saurus? And then what then?" And then the other dinosaurs who, um, even though they were afraid, they found their courage as well. Um, I think she's saying like they, even the, okay, hmm. Even though they were all, even though they were all afraid individually, then they weren't alone. And they were strong together. Uh, so speaking their true feelings, finding. Finding their allies, or finding their 
friendship, I guess. Allegiance through um, coming to terms with their own feelings, and he says, "Right, partner." Ah. She says, um, I've always been thinking that I needed to find friends of my own. I think she's saying like I absolutely had to like she's reaffirming how it was obvious that she should have that she needed to find friends but I was wrong it's just like Futaba said She's saying, um, she's, she's surprised, I guess, that Hikari said her name. I don't remember if that had happened before. Yeah, thanks to your guidance, this movie has also come to its close. Um, it was just as, just as splendid as last time. You thought so too, Nagi? え、集団生活の中で必ず生まれてしまう数の暴力。え、集団生活の中で必ず生まれてしまう数の暴力。the ability of everyone to band together. Ka Kazu no Boryoku. Despite like many challenges. I'm not sure what she's saying here. Um, that's just one dimension of this world. I think. She says, I think. <laughs> but that aside, thanks to you all, um, we were able to see a new end to the movie. And it seems to have brought happiness to Hikari, myself, and to everyone, and all of the plant eaters in the movie. All the dancers in the movie. Please accept my, my humble thanks. Thank you for showing us such a lovely film. Um, naturally. Um, Chie is like impressed with our 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 definitive like our definitive um stating i'm not sure how to, how to say it and teddy says we're very cool thanks teddy here comes doe <laughs> yeah you scared me So this is Do. Um, this is one of the three guys who lives in the theater, or the three people who live in the theater. His name is Do, as in John Do. Um, last time we finished him, he, he's like the projection booth guy. 
Um, he doesn't speak. But last time we finished a movie, he like vomited up a key, and the key goes to a lock, one of four locks that's on the main door of the theater. This feeling. <laughs> Is he gonna spit out another key? <laughs> Hikari doesn't like it. She's like, um. Come here, Hikari. I think she's like gonna hug her or something. Oh, that's right, it came out of his eyes, not his mouth. He's like, I know you told me about this before, but he really did, like, spit up a key. He kind of looks like two dinosaurs stacked on top of each other. Is this a key to the exit? Yes, I think this is key number two. Let's go try it. Yeah, same, Chris. Alright, it actually opened. Heck yeah, we're one step closer to the end. Right? Probably. Huh. Oh, 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 never mind. <laughs> so, I thought she said, is it just me or did Do become more of an adult? But, Otona Ninaru is become an adult, but she says, Otonashiku Naru, which is to become more like docile. Um, compared to last time, or compared to this time, he seemed like he was in a lot of pain the, uh, when he spit out the last key. Or the first key, rather. I can't even understand the words he's using or the sounds he's making. She says, Oh, I see. Um, I wonder if completing the movies is the way to get out. No, I think it was just me um, picking the wrong word. Um, what she, I think what she was saying is that he seemed less, like, um, perturbed or whatever, less agonized over making the key. Because the first time he was, like, really, like, shrieking and making terrible sounds, which is probably why Hikari was afraid just now. She says, um, Hikari, you... Have you calmed down? Um, although it seems like you're you're still shaking. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm okay. He's 
He says, um, uh, it seems like whenever, whenever Doe is nearby, you seem to get, like, super stressed out. <laughs> That's understandable, isn't it? He's, he's got that... He's got that big bear-looking outfit on. He doesn't speak. He's creepy. <laughs> um... I think Yukiko is saying, I wonder what we can get Teddy to spit out. Teddy's like, I just got a terrible chill. Uh, Hikari is laughing. Um, let's see. Uh, I guess he's like, um, well, that's good. Everything seems back to normal. Ryuji says, um, all right, leave it to us. We've, uh, basically, like, we know what to do from here on. We're definitely going to get out. Um... That's right. No matter what it takes, we're definitely getting out of here. Yaritai koto. things you want to do? Akiba Gente. It's like autumn leaves. Um, something? Oh, 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 okay. Akiba is a shortening of Akibahara, um, which is like the, uh, the big tech otaku, like, mecca in Tokyo. Um, oh, was it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yosuke said not, we'll do whatever it takes, but... Once we get out of here, we can do whatever we want. And Hikari was like, whatever we want? And Futaba says, my recommendation would be to go to um, Akihabara and get the new Featherman game. Oh, oh, the Featherman Crane game. Okay, so Featherman is like a, it's like a, um, they're like Secret or Super Sentai or Power Rangers. Um, I think there's a Fe yeah, there's a Featherman song in I want to say Persona Four, uh, Dancing All Night, and they're sort of I know Futaba has like a set of Featherman action figures. <laughs> um. She's explaining how to use the the crane game. That was a really cute little animation. I wish we could replay it. Uh, but she's talking about how you have to be um, you have to be like proactive with the arm, but gentle with the the claw, and then you have to make your move as soon as you notice it's the right time. She's like, Taba, you're really, you're a big fan of those games, aren't you? Um, but it does sound fun once we get out. Next... There we go. Mona said the same thing I was going to say. The next movie is about to... Please stay tuned for the following announcement.
新しい映画が上映されます。繰り返します。In just a moment, theater number three will begin showing a new movie. This message will repeat. 新しい映画っつったって、どうせまたろくなんじゃねえんだろ。Um, to semita. I don't know what he says. He's frustrated. For me. Uh, whatever it is, we can, we're gonna have to take a look at it. Let's go. Persona no shoji s u n a i p a no yoda, eh? I think it said we have a new ticket at the ticket shop as well. In the ticket booth, rather. Stuff real quick, and then we got a new recipe. I think. Oh, yeah, maybe we already sold it. No, okay, so he's definitely got some new items. Yikes. New weapons for everybody. Good grief. Okay, he's almost got the ingredients to make these. Ooh, wow. Piece of armor that resists all binds. That's really nice. It has good defense, too. And then we have a,、um, a collar from Mona. Oh, a scarf from Mona that increases dodge chance. So, those are going to be good to work for. Alright, I wanted to come by here and just look at the new quests, but it looks like maybe you,、uh, Yukiko and Yosuke are gonna have quests together. Let's see. Asking about some. some. maybe. battle movie? Nah, I don't think I can look it up. Or maybe I could look it up if I was using the right words. Hold on. I guess she's probably. She's asking him if he. She says, You do something, don't you? Maybe it has to do with art? Okay, she's asking him if he would be interested in teaching her art. So that must be a word for paintings of some kind. Nihonga. Maybe.
Oh yeah, okay. So she's, she says he likes Japanese art, doesn't he? And then another word I didn't know. So she says, if, you, if you'd like, would you mind teaching me? He says, ah, you too have an interest in art, Amagi-san. <laughs> if she was, um, if she was good at art, she'd be able to, she says, if I was good at art, I would be able to decorate the inn, uh, be able to decorate the inn. Um, is that, is that like a bad reason? I think that's a great idea. I think he he says something about it would be interesting to um to tutor to tutor a girl or someone with a woman's eye. He says I I will be happy to tutor you. Um, where should we do it? Or where should we start? Um, he says, what kind of art would you like to make? Um, okay, so... Let's see. He says he likes to find, he, he likes to base his work around motifs and such. She says, got it. I don't know if she really does get it though. Oh, she drew a, a lobster. I wonder if he prompted her and I missed it. <laughs> oh, she so, it looks delicious or it looks great. <laughs> like, he did a good job. Um, I'll just say she did a good job. Hmm, oh. not bad. Now then. He's talking about making the, um... Wait. Solito. Solid. He's talking about making the form more eye pleasing. <laughs> and of course, she she says um, it looks like something she would want to eat. Or something she would want to put on a top of a parfait. She wants to make it more gorgeous. <laughs> Yusuke is offended. This offends his sensibilities. I wonder whatever happened to those tw those uh, lobsters he found at the beach there. I once left my game idling for like five minutes and just watched Futaba trying to take them from him. Uh, let's see. This first word at the beginning, I think, is important. But he says, um, "I've never, I've never heard of anything like that before." Um, but there is much I, des I desire to know about the world of cooking. Let's 
So in that case, this picture Um, wait. Will she call us stay? He's asking her if she would wait. My initial read of this sentence is Amagi san, would you crush yourself to death? You, or you wouldn't crush yourself to death, would you? Okay, she was also surprised, so I think I read that right. He says it's not a, uh, it's not a bad picture. Is that, is that the word for lobster? I feel like it is. Okay, sweet. Ebby is is spelled as like ocean and old man. And I kept seeing it and I'm like, what the heck does that possibly mean? So it's it's spelled with the two the two characters, ocean and old man, or or elderly. So <laughs> I kind of want to look up this word though that, she, that he's saying the uh, the lobster is. But I think I'm gonna have to pass because it's taking too long. Oh no, it's important. This word right here, I have no idea what it is. Okay, there we go. He says, um, I think he says it seems, um, the lobster seems kind of stiff, kind of formal, maybe uncomfortable. She says, hmm. He says, you need to leave, you need to, um, to let your emotions run wild. Um, let the let your artistic uh, ambitions move you. He 
He says, I want you to draw another lobster. I want you to become the lobster. Or to face the lobster. She says, hmm, me? Face the lobster? Hmm, lobster, lobster. Okay, so the lobster is Ebby. Um, she's transitioning from writing it in kanji to writing it in katakana and then to hiragana. I guess that was important. <laughs> he says, hmm, that's good, those eyes, those feelings. Now, now take them and uh, take them and apply them. Take them and uh, let, set them free on the canvas. Got it. I'm on the way. Yikes! What is this? <laughs> what do you think? I, uh, got the doll. I set my lobster free and this is what came out. <laughs> this is a lobster? Is my first option. Hi, Sensu. Hi, Sensu. Good taste. I can say you have good taste. You have refined taste. Um, so you take an eye. Don't, don't let it near me. <laughs> He's like completely stymied. He says, I have a long way to go. Eh? It's no good? So <laughs> um... He says no, it's the opposite. Um... He says, he says no good? Indeed not, it's the opposite. I, I'm in love with it. Um, and then a bunch of stuff I can't read, and he says it has a lot of passion. He says, I wish to become more like your art. <laughs> she says, uh, well... If that's the case, then I should probably draw something a little bit different. Hmm, that's true. Um, let's see. Yeah, okay, so he says that, that's a good point. Is there anything else that... Is there any other motif that moves you in the same way that the that the lobster did. She says, mm, sh yes. I think, I think she said yes. Um, okay, so he, he says we need to go and search for something. I guess that would give her inspiration. Um, Tava says, hey, register that as a quest in the ticket booth. Um, what are you muttering about, Inari? <laughs> I guess. Alright, so we have a new ticket. 
Let's see. We've got a couple of them. We've got a lot of them. Holy smokes. I'm going to have to read faster if I'm going to get through all these. What's the one we just... Searching for something... Something from another era, another time. Okay. We'll head over to the other theater now. Everyone keeps telling me I have a lot of personas, which I think is my hint to go fuse some, but I don't wanna I don't wanna fuse personas on stream because that's ultra boring. Even more boring than waiting for me to look up kanji. In a not too distant future. Oh, this is a future um, taken over by AI. Everyone has been killed off except for robots. <laughs> awesome. Looks like it's an SF movie this time. Everybody's happy in this world, there's no reason to be sad. It's a beautiful world if you're a robot. <laughs> it's a beautiful ro world inhabited only by robots. I guess. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> you know who that is. Um, okay, so... Um, basically, the summary of that movie was... It's a world from the future where AI has taken over. Um... Everyone is robots now. There's no no more humans left. Apparently, very few things that are still alive, um, as noted, as like pointed out by the the one robot looking down at the flower. Um, and then it said something about for the sake of one robot only, um, the whole world was thrown into chaos. So I guess I guess is kind of like a um, like a deviant robot or something like that. A uh, what do they call it? An anomaly. Um, and, and that was it. I think that was the end of the summary. But Hamako is like, wait, because I guess is a member of the C's team. I just had to get a screenshot of her surprised face. Uh, he, okay, so Yusuke, Yusuke says, um, uh -huh, I sense, I sense a, uh, a fall in the atmosphere, a fall in the mood. Let's see. Okay, Nato says the trailer gave her kind of a bad aftertaste. Chee. 
Um, Kanji is offended by the idea of, of there being no more people. Um, oh, okay, okay, um, Kose, Kose ga Yurusa She says, um, standing out is an unforgivable crime, huh? Which I guess is something that would make sense. I think I missed that in the, um, in the trailer. Tapa? Never mind. Uh, say, Hikari, what do you think of this movie? She's saying, um, oh, she says that that one robot, since it's just because it's different than the others, um, it has to be taken taken care of. Um. If it were to okay, becoming becoming like everyone else is is painful. But if you don't, it might be even more painful. She says, wait, is that really what you think? <laughs> Teddy's like, uh, I have to be the same as everyone. Please do. Then what will what will I what will the current Teddy do? Teddy. He says Sensei and Yosuke and everyone are all are all so different though. And I and I love everyone for it. Um, if everybody became the same, it would make Teddy very sad. He says, yeah, that's right. Teddy is Teddy, I'm me. I... Uh, let's see... I'm not sure what this word is. I think she's saying, um, everyone else has their own, everyone else has their own idiosyncrasies, but she doesn't. She wants to become like everybody else. I don't know if that's correct, or that's what she—that's what I thought until now. Until now. Okay, so I think she was saying she she used to think there was nothing for it but to become like everyone else. Oh, see you later, Chris. But now that she's seen um, the whole team, then she doesn't feel like that anymore. But she doesn't really understand it. <laughs> so, 
I see. All right, into the movie we go. Um, okay, yeah, so she says if we, if there's something about the movie we don't like, we should, we need to, we need to, like, basically go change it. Um, yeah, okay, so he says if we can, if we can bring about the alternate ending, we can, um, we can help soothe Hikari's, um, like, sort of tumultuous feelings. Hey, hold on. Um, there's something I need to tell you. Um, I recognize one of the robots in the movie. Title, the, oh, and, and the, and also the title of the movie. What do you mean? Um, the, the robot wearing a ribbon in her hair. Um, I guess is the name of one of my allies. Um, you're your ally has the okay. See, so your your ally has the same name as the movie. I could say, or you have a um, you have a friend who's a robot. <laughs> uh, I should probably ask that. That's important. Oh, okay. Teddy says he's surprised to learn that you would have a friend who's a robot. Mm. Mona says, hmm, in indeed, it's it's quite puzzling. It's quite mysterious. <laughs> he says, are you guys, uh, are you guys some kind of gag? Are you guys running some kind of gag? <laughs> She's, um, she says, so the movie is called I Guess, is written I Guess with um, Roman letters, um, but, and, and that spells your friend I Guess's name? She might be making a, con uh, a comparison between the two, or like a contrast. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see. Oh, that's that must be the word for artificial intelligence. Jean Cole. Uh, she. Jean Cole Chitai. Jinko Chino is artificial intelligence. So she says AI means artificial intelligence. And, but what does GIS mean? Okay, yeah, so she says that's just our friend's name. Um, I don't think it, I don't think it means anything. <laughs> Um, I guess, even though I guess is a robot, we don't think anything of it. We don't, like, think that she is strange or anything. Hmm.
yeah, she says, um, she says Igis has her own personality and she can think for herself. Um, and she's a very precious ally. She's a very precious friend. Hmm, individual. Like, an individuality. How I... Sort of mulling over in her head. So, okay, she says... So we already know who the special cast will be in this movie. Um, that's right. Um, just like in Kamoshida Man's world or Yosuke Soros's world. Oh yeah, okay. In this in this trailer for the for the science fiction movie, it seems to be the same. Okay. Yeah, okay, so she says in that case, shouldn't Hamako's allies be uh, be in this movie as well? Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Um, we, need to, we need to get in there and, and welcome them right away. She says, ah, they're going into the movie again. Uh, if you, okay, yeah. If you get into any trouble, please come back as soon as you can. Um, understood. We're out. Hmm. Mm, she says Theodore. Let's see. Your guest seems to be very intent on uh, on meeting her allies. Um, when that time comes, munch munch, uh, what do you think she will do? He says, um, unfortunately I can't be keeping an eye on her. Um, all we can do is presumably stay behind. <laughs> she says, In that case, munch munch. Um, I think please, please develop some kind of popcorn that can be eaten with one hand. <laughs> he says, sister, you can eat or talk, but please don't do both at once. Um, everyone, please be careful. Save real quick, and we've got a little bit left. We got actually a good amount of time left, so we'll head back into the dungeon. We'll head into, um, I guess. Oh, not not ticket. Wrong way. Oh, she says, um, this is amazing, it's nothing like the last, uh, the last area, uh, the last movie. Hmm. Oh, this music is good. I'm gonna let you guys listen to the music real quick while I look for the word.
All right, I don't know what the word is, <laughs> but she says it's different than last time. Ah, it's a world that's rendered in CG. Interesting. Everything is very uniform and standard. Hmm, what's that? Ooh, okay, let's see. It's a robot, it's a mechanical voice speaking. Um, it's saying something about like, um, individuality detected. I think he's okay. It says something about a new type of something. Comparison is a compa it might be comparing them, comparing us to its. Oh, 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 comparison unknown. There's we don't show up in the database. Shoal goal for me. Okay, yeah, it's keeping, it's assigning us, um, like, numbers in a database, I think. Let's see. Okay, so Kotai Shikibutsu Bango, so a specimen number. Yeah, okay, an identification number. So Shikibutsu Bango is a is a identification number. So we're all being classified. This is a, wait a minute. Oh, dystopia, dystopia. I read it as a, as a B. So she says this is a dystopian kind of um, science fiction. I was like, what is a dystopia?
Although I think it was kind of obvious that it was a dystopia from the original trailer. Sorry, these these last few lines have been very kanji heavy, so I have to. They're kind of hard to look up. <laughs> he's he's like awesome, <laughs> a, a bona fide science fiction movie. Um, she says it's supposed to be a near science fiction movie. Kimira, yeah. Near future. She says, um, science fiction, uh, science fiction with its, all its unique worlds are, is always interesting. Um, I'm getting, I'm getting kind of nervously excited about it. Dinamoka, you like it? You like science fiction? She says, yeah, I don't only like science fiction though. Um, John, John, John Luke, John Sore. Oh, she, she keeps a, wait. Oh, genre. Jandu. Interesting. That's kind of an awkward word. Um, she likes... She's seen um, lots of different movie genres. Makoto says... It's a little bit surprising from you. Like her, her pose, she's like sort of blown away. Um... I have you have you have kind of an old-fashioned image. Okay, a traditional e image. Koshiki, koshiki yukashi, koshiki yukashi. Everyone who really knows Yukiko knows that she is much different than she appears. <laughs> yeah, he says everything about Yukiko is unexpected. <laughs> hmm, what do you mean by that? Uh, he's, Yu swoops into the rescue and he says, he means that you shouldn't judge people based on how they look. <laughs> I wonder what people in the future eat. I'm kind of getting interested about this myself. <laughs> I, she says, me too, me too. Um, I wonder if they eat, um, manufa- if they eat, uh, Synthetic meat. Okay, yeah, so Makoto says it looks like a man. Hmm. It doesn't look too different than a human world, than a human city, but I don't see anything. Yeah, but there doesn't seem to be any food around.
Hey, welcome. Uh, note, we just came, we just got into this, uh, this world. Um, so I suspect we're going to be meeting her soon, but we wrapped up, uh, oh yeah, you were here last, last time when we wrapped up Genesic Land, um, so I've just been going through the aftermath of that. Uh, anyway, Makoto says it's a little bit worrisome or, or strange that there's, doesn't need to be anything to eat. I was like, hmm, science fiction. She doesn't probably know much about it. Are you alright, Nora? Oh, no, no, no. She says, um, no, it just, it made me remember my father's, um, my father's palace, that's all. I totally forgot about that. But I'm alright. Thank you for asking. Um, let's see, he says, all right, well in that case, how should we, how should we get, uh, how should we get moving, I guess? Um, don't we want to find out what's changed in the movie? Hmm, first of all, should we check out what, what that big red button does? Always. She says, um, oh, this is probably, they're just going to tell me to make sure to keep drawing the map. Um, it looks like there might be enemies around. Wait. No, it, it, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. We can't just go walking around, it looks like there might be enemies. He's like, Anne, are you worried? Please feel free to stick close to Kuma. Wait. He's like, hey, you pervert. Um, and nobody, nobody gets to hold hands with Panther but me. <laughs> he says, uh, well, it was worth a try, um, but the invitation's open. Wait, maybe I misread something. Oh, the invitation's open to Mona, if he wants to hold hands. Hands like, no. <laughs> Kyaka, rejected. Uh, she says, in any case, you're too short. <laughs> it would hurt, it would hurt holding hands with you. <laughs> Poor Mona. Super destroyed. Anyway, um, let's uh, let's wrap this up. Um, shouldn't we start out by looking for that ribbon-wearing robot? Um, okay, yeah, not just says I, I suspect that I suspect that she will be deeper into the movie. I want to eat some human-made meat. Some man-made meat. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, okay. I wonder... I guess you got a, a catchy thinking about meals, set meals. She's like, what? Now you got me thinking about food. Uh, can we talk about this next time? We need to get moving. Alright, let's get going. Hooray! Now we can go back and save. So we don't have to see all that again. <laughs> oh, and get a cutscene. She says, welcome home. Oh, 
Oh, oh, Theo did develop a new type of popcorn. Hmm. Yusuke is waxing poetic about popcorn. I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, he says, um... I almost thought he said there was a bug in his popcorn, but no, um... Naka no mushi, I think, is like a stomach ache. It's literally a bug in your stomach. But... But he says it, um... I think he says when he eats popcorn, then... It doesn't satisfy his hunger and his his stomach rumbles something awful. <laughs> um, everybody, thank you for waiting. Awesome. Um, <laughs> I would be, I would be grateful if you would try my newly developed popcorn. <laughs> she says, "Ooh, it's so colorful." Um, I've never seen any food like it before, and it smells, and it smells delicious. Um, he says, all right, I guess I'll try it. This! <laughs> what? <laughs> What's this all of a sudden? Why did you suddenly freeze? He says, um, hmm, as soon as he put it in his mouth, it was as though ice started, it, it tasted like ice, I'm not sure. Oh, okay, she says, wait, uh, is it poison? Quick, spit it out. He's like, yo, this isn't good. <laughs> He's like, this is bad. This is terrifyingly delicious. Um... Let's see, Sigok Semi Nodic. Yeah, the popcorn costume is. I feel bad for Theo. He's always so put upon. Okay, yeah, so. Um, Howard says she could make a habit out of eating this popcorn. Really? Uh, she says, ooh, it looks interesting. Um, Theodora, please, one for me as well. And me. Everyone lines up to take some fruit, some of the new popcorn. He says, um, it's like a challenge getting some because the girls are taking it. Let's let's go challenge them for it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's right. We are men after all. Aha, uh -huh, you, Mister Mister Jacob. Oh, I'm afraid to say that the special popcorn is all sold out. Already. You didn't make enough, obviously. I am terribly sorry. Uh, let's see. So he ran out of ingredients for the flavors. Not sure what that says. This is gonna be a new quest though, I'm sure of it. We're gonna need to collect some ingredients for the, the new popcorn. Which may be, might be worth getting, if it's a consumable item. Yeah, okay, so... 
it's an ingredient that you can only find in the jungle. So. Um, let's see. Okay. She says, I don't really understand, but it sounds like a giant pain. Mindle. I think she said, why don't we get the ingredients and then we can all eat it together in the lobby. And Yosuke says, um, Morate mo i. May I accept, oh, may I accept your invitation? This is a quest for the two of them. She's like, you ate it already? Hmm. Or maybe you, you want to eat it again already? Yeah, okay, so he's like, we need to get more ingredients. Alright, cool. The quest. On top of the pile of other quests I already have. Mina, 